Hello everybody and welcome to another action-packed episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. As you can see, I already cheated my way to a blue Yoshi and two feathers, and let's do Chocolate Island number four. Um, I don't remember this one at all. Oh, I remember it now. It has these stupid platforms. Yes, I hate this one. I seem to be saying that a lot lately. I hate every single stage. It's not true. I don't hate the stage. It's just that every stage this in this part of the game has something annoying. And it's the annoying parts that I hate. I actually like the creativity in most of these stages. I mean, their design is just really good. Now, you want to be extremely careful in this stage because it's not as apparent here, but there is kind of like this chocolate, uh, chocolatey lava at the bottom of every stage. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Uh, that's there on every single stage, and it can really screw you over. Um, unfortunately, I don't know this stage very well, so... I'm just gonna try to get to the exit as best I can. I don't really know what the fast way is, or the slow way for that matter. I just know there is a way. Um, I'm gonna go this way because I don't know if there's chocolate- Oh, this is the stage with the huge moles! Right! Now I remember, you can stand on those. Uh, they don't do a whole lot for you, um, but they're not really a threat either. Let's see, are they useful in any way? I, I wanna know what's in that pipe, but I can't get up there from here. So, yeah, let's just forget about that. I think it's just some extra lives that you can gain there. Okay, there's the clapper guy. Let's just let him jump. Actually, I'm gonna jump from here. Because it's safer. I like clearing the first stage efficiently like this, because it means I can lose the Yoshi in a later one. You know, it's much, it's much more fun for me that way. Um, let's see, the next one... I think I remember there's like enemies inside blocks, donut shaped blocks in the sky. There's a power block that you can hit in order to get those enemies out. Let's see if I'm right about this. Okay, yeah, I'm right. See, donut shaped blocks with um, enemies inside. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother getting those. I'm just gonna head straight for the exit. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't even know what's up ahead. You can do this the hard way, I'm not gonna. Again, for the simple reason that I'm not... Okay, um, I think the next bit... I didn't remember those parachuting Goombas and Baboms. What I do remember, however, is that... Uh, pretty soon... We're gonna have... Ooh, colored Koopa shells, that's cool. I think in the next bit, uh, there's actually... Raising pipes, yeah. And they're a little bit annoying as well. Again, I'm flying over this entire stage. I don't know why I'm doing this. I guess I just can. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do this somewhat efficiently. I mean, this is episode 9, I think. This is the fourth recording today. I've recorded several episodes before this. Okay, Wendy's Castle! Another hard one! Yay! I have a feeling I'm gonna lose feathers and Yoshis and everything else. Okay, uh, yeah. I kind of confused... This one with the fortress, and this is the one that I thought, um, with the mechanics I thought the fortress had. Uh, give me back my feather. Yeah, this is, uh, those stupid saws. Oh my god, oh my god, I need to make this. Ugh! It's a good thing that Mario is, uh, semi-invulnerable when he's in this, uh, flying mode. And this part is not fun. This part is insanely difficult. I'm gonna wait for those to drop before I'm even gonna attempt another go. Let's see. Ah, man, I should have. And I made it past there with. Well, I, I would say without a scratch, but then I'd be lying. Uh, let's see. How the hell do I make it through this one? Okay, yeah. And uh, then I can make it over here. And then onto this part. Now, I'm little, and they start going faster and faster, and this is where it really starts going to... I want to be the guy levels of... What?! Again, I'll meet you back there. Okay, guys, here I'm back at the super fast uh, things. I'm gonna try to get through this as well as I can. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to do this. Oh, I actually did that on my first try. Okay, well, it took me two lives to get back here. 
And then I did this on my first try. That's good. At least I passed the halfway mark. Um, let's see. There's these stupid suns. I missed the mushroom. Which was very risky to do. And there's the big uh, solar... I killed myself. I don't know why, but I killed myself. This is going to be harder every, every time I do this because now I'm small. Again. But at least I'm starting back here instead of with the pounding blocks of bad. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that little guy to get past here. Um... Well, that's another suicide. Maybe I should make like a suicide counter or something. I might just do that. Like, I don't know exactly how many deaths I have right now, but I think this is like the... 15th one that I've shown out on screen, or maybe... But there have been like 25 all in all. It's just that I've been cutting quite a few of them out. Uh. Okay, let's do this again, and again, and again, until I get it right! Okay, I made a Justice Friends reference there uh, from um, Dexter's Laboratory, but that was unintentional. I just realized that I made the reference after I did it. And I kind of like it, because I love that show. Valhallen was always my favorite character, although Major Glory is is really cool as well. But that's just such a great kid show. I mean, they don't make cartoons like they used to. I'm not saying that all modern cartoons are bad. I mean, they're definitely not. There's a lot of really good cartoons out there. I mean, for instance, um, Avatar The Last Airbender is really good, but my play there isn't. Let's try that again. But yeah, like I said, um, where was I? All right. Um, not all modern cartoons are bad. I mean, Avatar The Last Airbender is really, really good. Um, I didn't like the second season as much, but it was still good. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything. It's just kind of like my thoughts. But yeah, a lot of the cartoons from the olden days, to me, are just much more fun. Like today, I was at a friend's place, and uh, this random episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog came on, and that just reminded me of all the great cartoons I used to love watching as a kid. Or, not even as a kid, as a teenager, really. I mean, I really loved Cartoon Network when I was growing up. I'm gonna wait one turn, just so that the stupid block that killed me last time is up there, instead of down there. I'm laughing. I'm really, really laughing. Really, no, really, I am. I'm laughing. But I'm crying inside. I'm crying with rage inside at my own ineptitude at this fucking game. You know, something tells me, oh, please tell me I can make this, please. Thank the heavens. See, one of the reasons that I suck so much at this game, I mean, I'm not too bad if I'm not doing commentary, and I don't want to keep coming back to commentary as an excuse, but playing while you're talking and you're trying to keep the conversation, which is already very one-sided, if you're trying to keep that conversation going, your focus goes down the drain. And, um, yeah, playing a game like this when you're not at full focus is challenging. Very, very challenging. But I made it. Okay, now, this boss is um, kind of the same as in castle number three, except there's two fireballs instead of one. Like this. Oh, and I guess the playing field is level, instead of it being sloped. That's one. Let me please dodge the fireballs there. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful here. Um, yeah, I can't take too many risks. There are a few places on, the, on this map where she can't... Okay, this is getting annoying really, really fast. Yeah, yeah, I know I did that wrong. But I have to I have to find a, an opportunity to hit her. Okay. She's always appearing at one of the sides and... I wasn't fast enough. I'll meet you back at the boss door. This is enough. This is more than enough. Okay, guys, I'm back for another go at Wendy. Let's try not to suck so much this time. Now, the reason that she's annoying is not so much because of the mechanic in this boss fight, um, but it's like, you have to be careful avoiding the fireballs, but at the same time, you can't slack on jumping on her. Okay, that's two. Just one more to go. 
And avoiding the fireballs in this one can be kind of tricky. Uh, let's see, I got her. I got her! She's dead! Dead and drowning and burning in lava. Like the bitch she is. Oh, crap, I... Um... Yeah, this next one I'm gonna do is really dickish, and if one of my friends is watching, this is not meant as an offense, I just don't have anything else. What's he doing with this one? <laughs> he kind of just mops it away. Cool. Wendy Okupa in Castle Number 6 has sung her last song. Mario must meet the challenge that is now before him. There is a sunken ship that appears to be a gateway to the Valley of Bowser. Okay, so, um, Dr. Doom, if you're watching this, I'm very sorry that I did that to you. But you're probably not, so it's alright. So we have that stage cleared. However, now it's out of, out of the frying pan into another fire. And this is a sunken ghost ship. Um, this is a pretty challenging stage. Because of a very simple mechanic, and the mechanic is that there is um, hundreds of... Well, actually, that's the second half of the stage that's, that's the hard part. I'll get past this first part relatively easily without failing too much. Um, the hard part starts down here. I think there's nothing you can do up there, is there? No, probably not. I'll just go down here. Now, the hard part is that there are... Coming up um, past this crate... Loads of ghosts. And they're kind of going to appear randomly. And if you hit them... You're out of luck. And sometimes, they decide to appear inside of you without giving you any chance to dodge. Now, sometimes I like... Um, I'm gonna go for Yoshi, just because it allows me to take another hit. Now, sometimes it's easier to just keep swimming, and other times it's better to stand still, but this is probably the, the trickiest bit in this stage. But if you can get past this, then uh, you've made it. Or at least a little bit. The pattern, there's basically only two patterns of booze. And they switch all the time. So it's one and then the other. And let me just get that Yoshi again. Um, if I get past this, then I'll have made it. I think I'll have made it. I'm not entirely sure. No, there's still a, 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 a tricky bit ahead. But at least the, um, the pattern ghosts will stop. And from here on, Yoshi is gone. But I'm gonna go for him, and miss. Okay, um, here's a second chance that I have at getting Yoshi, and I got him. Now, the tricky bit here, as you can probably tell, is being very, very precise with your movement. Everything has to be deliberate. One mistake can cost you many, many lives, and losing too many lives in this stage is bad. But now that I'm here, I think I've already made it to where I need to be. Yes, this is... Okay, I'm, I've, I've made it. After this, it's easy. You basically just have to keep going. I think you can get another star, like over on the right side of it, or on that platform there, but I kind of missed it. You kind of just want to head to the middle of the stage, I think. You have to avoid the spiky things, but if you have Yoshi, you can jump on them. And then here, this is basically the end of the stage. You get this. And you get the, the theme as if you've just beaten a castle. And in, or, in order to go to probably one of the coolest cutscenes in the game. Actually, to be perfectly honest, that was a little bit underwhelming. Um, I'll do this one more stage, and then we'll call it a, uh, we'll call it a night. Okay, um, I don't remember these stages very much. Yoshi can eat them. Yoshi can eat a lot of enemies. Okay, so earlier in this Let's Play, um, and a friend actually told me about this, um, I commentated that you can eat the dolphins in, like, one of the, uh, vanilla secrets. And he told me that it's not possible to eat the dolphins. And he's right uh, to a degree because it's not possible to eat them in the American version of the game, which is the one that I'm playing. However, in the European version, 
And in the Japanese version of the game, you can eat the dolphins uh, in that stage. Oh, and the good thing is Yoshi can walk on those, so that makes it easier. Let's see, there's a nice three up there. Um, let's see, where does this go? I don't even remember. Let's see, there's there's not really any big secrets, I think. But I am going the wrong way, so let's not do that. Let's get down here. Is there anything you can do here? Maybe so, maybe no. Okay, you can't get up there. Okay, so I have to take the long way. Okay, that kind of annoys me that I have to take the long way. But I do have Yoshi, so it should be relatively smooth sailing at least. Okay, I can get up there. Um, let's not do that. Okay, you can please just... Okay, okay, please let's... Let me get Yoshi! Ooh, that was close. That was like a pixel closeness. There we go. Beating the stage. So I guess I'm at about 19 minutes now with uh, f maybe two or three minutes of fail to cut out. Maybe a little more, but I think I'm just going to call it an episode here. And this has been the ninth episode, and in the next episode, I will have two capes in addition to my blue Yoshi. And we're going to get, well, basically the last real world in the game started, and there are quite a, quite a few secret exits here, so I just hope I can pull it off. Until then, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.